Greetings, leading ladies and gentlemen. This is Trainedra Miss Cutie Style Pierre, and welcome back to another episode of Miss Cutie Style Southern Comfort Cooking. Today, I will be cooking margarita chicken over rice and beans. And here's the beans that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and put them down in a pot so they can soak, so they can start getting soft. And I have my rice. I have a little bit of cilantro or cilantro. I have red, green, and orange peppers. I have some corn that I'm going to use to um, put over the chicken once it's done with some um, pico de gallo, which is tomatoes and some green chilies. I'm going to use probably a half a can of each. Um, right here is the main ingredients. Um, this is tilapia. I'm going to bake my daughter some regular kinds, but then I want to taste some margarita tilapia also. This is some chicken, thin sliced boneless skinless chicken. I'm gonna use all of it. I have a lime, I have an onion, orange juice, all of this is for the marinade. Um, I have some olive oil, honey, um, parsley, garlic, what is this? Minced garlic, season all, and just all my um, seasoning that I'm gonna put in it so Stay tuned, you guys. This is my first time making this. I'm sure it's going to come out good. And I'm doing it with a little twist because I'm going to add what I want to add into it. But this is the main ingredients. I just wanted to show you guys how I do the um, broiled chicken or the baked chicken for my daughter. I've already gone ahead and put um, red pepper and stuff. And I'm sorry, the lighting is bad. And um, season all. And all I do is just put it down on um, a piece of already cut aluminum foil. I add a couple of pieces of onions on it and I close it up and I put it in a pan. And if it's a little piece like this, I'll add two to it. Y'all, I know I'm looking a mess on this camera, but just wanted to show you guys. I wasn't getting dressed up just to cook. So that's how I do it. I kind of fold it so it's closed. You can have a little opening because you need the steam. So I'll do her a few pieces like this. This is not the margarita one. I'll be back to show you guys how I do the marinade um, and pour it over the chicken and the fish. I'm on the pan, my old reliable flat like cookie sheet pan. I prefer to do it on that and I'm putting it in the oven, bake it for about 45 minutes and it'll be done. Guys, okay, so my daughter is helping me out and we're gonna go slowly. This is a quarter cup of lime juice, freshly squeezed. Then we need a quarter cup of orange juice. And this is for the marinade. This is what we're going to marinate the um, chicken and the fish in. That's so it? that's, yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit more. So about a quarter cup of the orange juice. We don't want to overdo it. Y'all remember easy bake ovens? Okay. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. And so I'm going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic it says two but i'm just going to do one i am adding one tablespoon of black pepper and it did say do two but i'm gonna do one and a half so i like it hot okay and squeeze this for me i think it goes for two tablespoons of honey we're putting it right in where we did the um black pepper and hopefully it squeezes well Cause if not, then I'm gonna just squeeze it on in there. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Just open it and um, squeeze some down there. One little plop will be good. Okay. What, what you doing? It's that's why. So, oh. So we just plopping some down in there. Tell me when to stop. Uh, stop. So see, we we eyeballing it like uh, Rachel Ray. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> and so we're putting how much of tequila? A tablespoon, I think. Oh, shit. Uh, that one. We're going to do two tablespoons of tequila. Okay. We're being very careful because we're working in a tight spot because of the little blender. Little. Okay. Okay, so that's one. Now, I'm omitting margarita mix because I couldn't find any, but this tequila will give it what we need to give it. And I'm adding, and that's just me adding stuff, y'all. I'm adding some parsley in here. I guess it's going in there. I don't know. 
<laughs> okay. okay. And was it one cup of olive oil? I'm not sure. But we're going to add one cup of olive oil in there. Okay. And we're going to blend it. This is a little uh, individual mixer blender that my daughter um, bought me for my birthday. This is uh, she's helping me because I don't know how it goes. So she's put. Go ahead. She's putting the blade on. So I don't know. I think I sold my other blender. Then you set it and forget it. So now what I'm gonna do is try to shake that honey up because the honey's kind of stuck to the bottom. So I'm trying to get that honey to mix with it. Yeah, because we need that sweetness. And one more. That's it. Okay, All so right. what we're going to do is I'm putting some, just a little bit of season oil for flavor on here. And this is the four pieces of fish and then I have the chicken. And yes, I am combining them. It's nothing wrong with it. So my daughter's gonna open it and then thoroughly marinate it, or maybe I can do it. You do it. Yep. So it's mixed. And I'm gonna make sure it's getting on. Now normally they would tell you not to mix the chicken with the fish, but whatever. I'm doing it like that because I want the flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I have to let this. No, I'm just shaking it up a bit. It's going to marinate in the refrigerator covered with some aluminum foil for two hours. I'm supposed to put it. I'm supposed to put it in a um, plastic bag, but I'm going to let it go like that. And we still, we're not going to mix the fish and stuff. It's still staying in its spot and then over here. And so once it marinates, I will show you guys what I do next. I smell, you can really smell the tequila and the honey aromas coming out. Mmm to add a little cilantro I don't really like a lot of cilantro flavor so I only put a little bit and I'm going ahead and adding some onions to the marinade because I want that flavor and I have my orange red and green bell pepper that I'm just cutting up chunky chunky ones and adding that to the marinade we want all of that flavor in it and sorry for being messy, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys how we doing it. And when I put it on my little George whoop, <laughs> Foreman grill, I am going to also try to grill these. But again, I'm marinating for two hours. I'm just putting that on top. Keep it there, Chuck. You can do it in a plastic um, bag, or you can just do it like this in a pan, cover it, and sit it in the refrigerator for two hours. Okay, you guys, I've marinated this chicken for way more, <laughs> way more than four hours. I mean, two hours. I have my George Foreman grill here, my old reliable that I've had forever. And I have put oil on the top and the bottom of it. I'm going to lay some chicken on it. And it is hot, but I thought I would hear some steaming sounds on here. But I guess not when I close it, maybe. So I'm laying some chicken on them, shaking off a little excess. Uh, oh, there you go. I hear it. A little excess um, of the marinade. And I'm doing the chicken first. I'm going to go ahead and put some of the vegetables on it. Just like in a corner so the chicken can... Right. Then I'm gonna close it. Are y'all here now? And I have it on. Let's see. I'm gonna put. I have the timer on six minutes on each side well both sides will go y'all hear the so I'll open it when I think they have some uh, 
grill lines on it. <laughs> Why you should never go to sleep when you're cooking, y'all. I had them went to sleep. I've been cooking since this morning. These beans take a while. And all the water had cooked out of the beans. But, um, I mean, fortunately, I got up just in time to save them. So, they don't even really have a burnt smell. Because I had it on low. And I just <laughs> I added more water in it. So, it's all good. This is my rice. And let's see what this chicken is over here. Okay, this is my old reliable George Foreman grill. And I add some aluminum foil on here to catch it. And it is percolating. That's one side, so it is it is cooking. I'm just turning it over. Even though it's grilling on both sides, really, because it has this top and this bottom. I don't want anything to stick. I'm going to put it back. Let's see. It has three more minutes to go. About three more minutes, so I might put it on again. And this is the rest. I poured off the excess. I only have one, two pieces of chicken in here, and the rest is fish right here. take the chicken off but I wanted to show you how I placed the beans we basically spread it out and I'm pouring it and y'all see I burnt the beans a little bit but it was called for black beans anyway so I guess I do have black beans <laughs> I have black beans and I'm gonna put a little more beans on it but here we go with the chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece oops, and this piece on it as well as a grilled vegetable okay and we're gonna step over here and I have the garnish that I made earlier remember that's been marinated in the refrigerator as well it has corn tomatoes um, parsley and mango so I'm gonna put a little of that on top just a little because you don't want to overpower it and I have this line and this is my margarita chicken with a little more beans of course I'm going to add to it so this is my mom's plate um, and I'm going to make my plate and I'm going to just do the fish the same way <laughs> 